Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And Representative Jim Jordan, the Republican from Ohio, he just got some great news when it comes to the future of his career and becoming the next Speaker of the House. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So Congressman Jordan has, of course, as you probably know by now, gotten the votes to be the Republican nominee. He does not yet have the votes to be Speaker of the House. And, you know, Republicans need to stop this. They need to get behind this man and push him over to finish line. Let's have a Speaker of the House. Let's get to work immediately. Let's do what we have to do. Let's impeach Joe Biden because Jim Jordan may be the only Speaker that actually follows through on that and actually impeaches Joe Biden. Didn't trust McCarthy to do it. Didn't trust Scalise to do it. But I trust Jim Jordan to do it. In fact, I think Jim Jordan will make it his mission from day one to do it. So what's the good news? He doesn't have the votes yet, but there was a couple of representatives who spoke to Sean Hannity last night. And, well, let's just say it looks like it might be over this week. Let's take a look. On Sean. Brian Mast, I'll ask you about what's unfolding in Gaza this very night, what's unfolding around the world with this uh, uh, day of jihad that's called for by one of the leaders of Hamas. Uh, but I will say this, uh, the people's house needs to be reopened. And th these Band-Aid solution ideas or doing a deal with the Democrats, that is not acceptable leadership from the Republican Party. I know the majority is small, but yeah, as far as I'm concerned, Jim Jordan right now has a significant majority of the votes. It is time to elect him speaker and open the people's house. Do you agree? I totally agree. I think Jim Jordan has something even more important than what you just mentioned. He has something that this place lacks. He has trust in the American people. I hear from people all the time back home that want to hear from Jim Jordan, want to know where Jim Jordan is, uh, is on a position, believe in Jim Jordan. And if, if for nothing else, if he can bring a level of trust back to this institution that we work in, that is to me one of the most forefront reasons to move him forward as this next Speaker of the House of Representatives. Yeah, I agree. Now, let's get I see you have your an IDF uniform arm in solidarity uh, with Israel. We know that Israeli troops entered Gaza. The ground incursion has begun uh, in real time. We are watching a massive bombardment. Uh, Israeli Air Force jets hitting Hamas targets. Last night, they hit a whopping 750 of them. Uh, we believe that the full ground incursion could come as early as tonight and this morning, local time in Gaza. It is 4.53 a.m. Gaza time. Uh, so we expect that to unfold throughout the weekend and into Monday. Uh, what do you expect is going to happen? And are you concerned, as Lindsey Graham is concerned, about war on a second front that might be started with Hezbollah in the north with the support of Iran. I definitely expect carnage. You look at the supply chain to get those weapons into the Gaza Strip. It goes from Iran. It goes through Syria, through Lebanon, into the Gaza Strip. Can go through Jordan, can go through Egypt. And that can also be used to move hostages in the opposite direction out of the Gaza Strip into other places. There should be every expectation that American fighters are sent to pick up American hostages and give retribution for American deaths. So, yes, this can spill over into other places simply because those are the places that this fight has stemmed from. So very real risk. Now, they're absolutely right. It's time for the conference to get together, get behind Jim Jordan. Let's rock and roll. Let's strut and stroll. Let's cross the finish line because right now we look like a party that can't govern. We look like a party that's out of control, a runaway train. It, it, it's not a good look for the American people. When they vote in 2024, these are the things they're going to think about. These are the things Democrats are going to put in their campaign ads. They're going to call them the party that can't govern. Look, nobody's going to get everything they want in a speaker. Nobody. You're going to have to accept whatever speaker we get because the other option is terrifying. The other option is terrifying. The other option is a power sharing with the Democrats, and that could happen. And if you watch the next video, I'll actually explain that. That video is coming up, but for right now, I want to know what you think about this. Do you support Jim Jordan as the next Speaker of the House? Bottom line. Do you support him? If you don't, do you support somebody else? If so, who? Well, let me know in the comments. Also, again, please remember to like, share, 
and subscribe. It really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.